everyone, Melissa here and I'm back with a layout today for Coco Vanilla Studio featuring the beautiful Daydream collection. And um, I've had a plan for this paper for a long time, but it meant doing a lot of stitching and I was kind of putting it off because sometimes I can be a bit lazy and I don't want to change the thread. But as you can see, I've done it. I've stitched like I know five times back and forth in the corresponding colors and um, I love how it turned out this this layout turned out better than I'd ever imagined it would I had the starting point which is what you see in front of you um, and I didn't have a photo or anything but I wanted a playful photo because this is quite I think in my opinion a playful layout playing on the colors using the threads a little bit messy so I've got this photo of Brielle it's a recent photo sometimes when my mojo goes on holiday which it has at the moment I want to scrap a recent photo to help I guess get it back to remember the feelings or the memory of the photo um, and I love this photo and with this photo um, I actually edited it by, I don't know what you call it, lens blur. Yeah, I put a lens blur on it to blur out the background of the playground and to really focus in on Brielle, who is, of course, giving the peace sign again. And this was from a little um, weekend trip we took, and we were coming back, and we stop at parks because otherwise the kids get a bit... They struggle. The younger ones struggle to stay in the car for too long. So that is what the photo is of. So here I'm going through the 6x8 paper stack and I've slowed it down just so you can see. Um, I had partially fussy cut that cluster of flowers for something else and never finished it so in my bag of daydream I found that. It's off the bigger piece of paper, the 12x12 12 12, and so I thought let's use it for this one. So I finished my fussy cutting and if you've watched my videos with fussy cutting you'll know that in order to get close with very delicate leaf detail, I use my craft knife as well as my scissors. So I thought I was going to use that paper, but I've decided to go for the wood grain and the beautiful daisy paper. And I just wanted a couple of paper layers behind my photo. And here I'm searching for my, my edge distressor. I think I found it in the end. Um, I'm still distressing all my edges. I love the look it gives. And this daisy paper is really sweet and beautiful. And I just love the hint of it behind the wood grain. So distressing those edges, not like majorly distressing them, just giving them a little bit of unevenness. And then of course using some craft foam just to pop up my photo for dimension. So what I've got there where the rainbow is on those moths and butterflies, I had fussy cut that rainbow for something else as well and didn't use it. And I fussy cut a whole lot of moths off the all of flutter paper. I think there's butterflies and moths. Yeah, butterflies and moths. Moths have the wings that go down and butterflies have like the wings that go out. That's how I how I consider them to be. And then I'm um, just going through these die cut titles because they are always the easiest way for me to get a title. And I thought my sunshine is good because this child is such a ray of sunshine. She's happy. Probably 90% of the time she is happy. She still has meltdowns. She's six and she's a child. But um, yeah, she's very smiley. She's always been like that, even as a baby. So I thought it was the perfect little title for her. And then just popping up this title on some foam and some um, pop dots as well. When it's a long title like this, I'll use um, just the cheap craft foam to conserve these pop dots, which are more expensive. And then I've got this little rainbow and I've just put one pop dot behind the top of it and glued the rest of it down just to give some dimension. I love how it looks behind sunshine. And then um, I'm realizing I can commit to my photo. Um, it didn't bother me that I covered up some of the stitching. You can still see it on the rest of the layout. And then um, I was either going to place this cluster at the top or bottom of my photo. And I love with these clusters that they've been designed in a way that you can either use them going up or down. Some florals um, don't. They, they are made to be a certain way, but these ones aren't, and I love that. So I didn't want to cover too much of the park up, even though I've blurred it. And that's a die cut from the ephemera pack. And I've just put that little arrow piece or banner there. And now I'm wanting to adhere these moths and butterflies. I love with moths or butterflies or anything like this, I'll put my liquid adhesive in the center and then pop up the wings 
and then um, I hold them down a bit in the middle and then you end up with um, a lot more dimension than if you just glued them flat. So I've tried to kind of colour match them. Um, I haven't, I've kind of made them go not directly up and down. I've put some in different angles slightly and I've overlapped the sunshine with one of them and I've overlapped the photo with that um, kind of salmon pink one at the top there. I've tucked a puffy heart into my floral cluster and I love how that looks. I think it's subtle because it's green and it kind of matches the grass in the photo. And then I wanted to just bring a bit more attention to my title so I've just trimmed a little bit off this sticker from the accessory sticker sheet and it's another floral cluster and I've adhered it with liquid adhesive and some pop dots as well and that's really really sweet and in my journaling and I have a quite I have quite a lot to say you can always pause the video and read it or you can go over to the blog post on Coco Vanilla Studio and read it as well um like I always say I'm probably just talking about what I've told you about the photo and about her disposition and then I add some splatters they are it's just color shine and pewter which is like a gray slightly silvery gray and then off camera I go in and add some sequins from the sequin pack I just um, when I was finished I, I realized I needed to add a little bit of something else and yeah I'm so happy with how this layout turned out I think the stitching adds a lot to it um, the moths and butterflies are a really whimsical touch as well and it just plays along with the playful photo so yeah um, there's some close-ups and my final layout coming up as well and I hope I've inspired you to maybe have a go at using a striped paper in a different way so thanks for watching